I hope you're having a lot of fun with our 30 GIMP tutorials in 30 days and of course, learning lots too. Today is 22 of 30 and once again, you're going to have a blast. This time, you're going to discover how to create an anaglyph. An Anna what? Hmm. Well, let's do it. If you'd like to use the same image, you can find a link to download it in the description below. Go ahead and open it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is double click on the layer name here and rename it red. And then I'm going to duplicate it and rename this layer cyan. So to create this effect, we need to change each layer into its respective layer name now. So this layer should be cyan in color and then this one red in color. To do that, we're going to go up to colors Go down to components and select channel mixer. In order to get cyan, we're going to take the red channel here and we're going to change it from one to zero and that changes it to cyan. Go ahead and click OK and grab your red layer and then go back to colors, components and then channel mixer again. And now we need to adjust the green channel to zero and the blue channel to zero to get red. So there's the red channel there. Now make sure your cyan layer is selected because we're going to take this layer and change the blend mode from normal to difference and boom, we have the original color layer and that's because red, green, and blue RGB creates all the different colors in color images. So when you add the difference mode, it converts it back to a full color image. But to create that final anaglyph effect, all you have to do is take the cyan layer and move it in any direction. So grab your move tool with the letter M, click on your layer here and move it to the right, left, up or down, and you'll end up with the anaglyph effect. How cool is that? All right, now that you know how to create that image effect, check out that playlist to your left to learn more about editing, retouching, and styling your images in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.